trip back home always begins with a frantic call from my mother, just as I'm stepping out my apartment door. Don't forget your white coat, she reminds me. Don't worry, I tease her. It's in my laundry with everything else, just like always. Yes, my laundry makes the trip back home with me every couple of months to Dallas. Parents, I sense you cringing. And no, I don't feel too guilty about it. Because as long as my mom gets the chance to clean my white coat, she won't ever complain about the time and energy she has to put into running multiple loads of soiled hospital clothes. With that first years, as you don your white coats tonight, we welcome you to the Baylor family. That article of clothing for which you have been so eagerly awaiting represents far more than you could have ever imagined. On those long days of general surgery, running from OR to OR, the endless pockets stuffed with granola bars and bananas will be your only means of sustenance. During those never-ending days of drudgery, as you trek through mounds of PowerPoints and textbooks with absolutely no patient contact, your white coat hanging proudly in your closet will be a nice reminder of exactly what you're working towards. As you suffer extreme weather changes, going from the heat and humidity outdoors into the sub-zero temperatures of our hospitals, your coat will conveniently cover pit stains and shield you from the arctic blasts of the AC vents. <laughs> On those late nights after a grueling ICU call, the coat announces to the world that indeed you do have an excuse for the batty eyes and disheveled hair. Topped off with a stethoscope around your neck, the white coat, short though it may be, commands a certain respect from patients along with unexpected calls of, hey doc, doc, down the halls of Ben Top, to which you don't respond for a good 30 seconds because really, who could mistake you for a doctor, right? <laughs> and on patient rounds at six in the morning, when the nurse begins to reprimand you for an incorrectly dosed medication order, you can hide behind the shortness of the coat and mutter, sorry, I'm just a med student. <laughs> The beauty of that white coat is that though it gets dirty, creased, and torn in the most unflattering of places, it somehow manages to grow with you. The amniotic fluid, blood, and vomit that will inevitably stain your coat tell a story of the endless energy, dedication, and passion that you will put into your patient care. You'll enter the hospital wearing your white coat on the first day trembling just a little bit under the weight of the responsibility you will come to bear. And somehow, magically, a few years later, you'll emerge a confident clinician, admittedly still a little fuzzy on the details of G-protein coupled receptors, but fully competent to provide impeccable medical care to the people whose lives lay, quite often literally, in our hands. Your white coat will be there with you to soften the blow the first time you lose a patient. And as luck would have it, it will be your sole witness when you have the one chance to totally nail every question in a particularly grueling pimping session with that victorious attending on the only occasion, of course, that your fellow students aren't all gathered around. You'll have many coats throughout your life, but this one is bound to be your favorite. This is the coat you wear while you're suspended in between worlds, given the opportunity to explore and experience, and yet shielded from the harsh realities and responsibilities of practicing medicine under your own precious medical license. So wear it with pride. It's a symbol of all that has come from the agonizing hours of your undergraduate coursework and all that has yet to come from the excruciating hours of training you have yet to endure. But with that white coat, it's all worth it, every single second. And when things get a little rough, take a break and head home for a few days, laundry in tow. <laughs> Trust my word, for me, there is very little that is more endearing than watching my sweet mother lovingly hand wash, air dry, and steam press my white coat. <laughs> for both her and I, it is a labor of love and a regular reminder of the countless lives that I'm touching and the childhood dream that I'm slowly but surely achieving. Whatever you do, don't lose that sense of wonder 
that us upperclassmen can recognize in your eyes. Don't forget who you were as you strive to become the position you aspire to be. Congratulations, class of 2017. You totally deserve it. Yeah! Woo! Get it, get it!